to Bedtime Storytime with Jen from the Blue Mountains Public Library. Happy Wednesday and I hope you have all had a super wonderful day today. And I'm so glad that you have joined me this evening for story time. Tonight for story time we are going to be reading the book Red Knit Cat Girl and the Reading Tree. And it's about sharing um, stories and books and reading stories and books together with your friends, just like we're doing tonight. So before we get to our story, we're going to sing our hello song, and hopefully you guys remember it from last week. If not, I'll sing it once, and then you guys can go through it with me the second time. So we're gonna to count to five, and today we're gonna to count to five in French. Can you remember? I hope so. Let's give it a try. Ready? Un, deux, trois, Quatre, cinq. Hello, hello. Can you clap your hands? Hello, hello. Can you clap your hands? I forgot to wave. Can you stretch up high? Can you touch your nose? Now we're gonna stomp our feet. Can you stomp your feet? Can you wave hello? Hello, hello. Can you clap your hands? Hello, hello. Can you clap your hands? Can you stretch up high? Can you touch your nose? Can you stomp your feet? Can you wave hello? Awesome job, friends. And here we are. It's time to get comfy, to get cozy, because we're about to read our story. Red Knit Cap Girl and the Reading Tree by Naoko Stoop. It's too hot to run and too hot to play. Red Knit Cap Girl and White Bunny find a shady spot and read. Squirrel wants to show them something, but he won't tell them what. You'll see when we get there is all he will say. Red Knit Cap Girl and White Bunny scamper after Squirrel. What a big oak tree, Red Knit Cap Girl says when Squirrel points. Not the tree, Squirrel says, but look inside. Red Knit Cap Girl looks inside the hole in the trunk. That's what I wanted to show you all, Squirrel says. It's called a nook. What is it for, says Bear. Red Knit Cap Girl listens to the leaves rustling and feels the soft grass under her feet. She looks at the nook and says, I have an idea. Red Knit Cap Girl puts her book inside where it will stay safe and dry. I will keep my book in this nook so everyone can read it, Red Knit Cap Girl says. I will keep my book in this nook so everyone can read mine too, White Bunny says. <gasps> I will too, says Squirrel. What a great idea. Hedgehog is too excited to speak. He just squeaks. Eek, eek. The birds swoop down. We have something to share too. I don't have a book, Beaver says sadly. He wants to share something. Then Beaver gets an idea. He gnaws and hauls with his teeth and thumps with his tail until he's built a strong bookshelf. <gasps> Everyone admires it. The very next day, Deer brings his book to the nook. Duck follows with her book. Turtle has so many books to share that she carries them on her back. Sly Fox doesn't help. She sneaks to the nook when she thinks no one is looking. How silly they are, leaving all of these books here for me to steal, she says as she takes one. The other animals bring more books to the nook. They read every day until their air turns clear and crisp and cold. It is autumn now, too cold to sit still around the nook. Snuggle under these, the sheep say. They've made warm wool blankets for everyone. Then the nook is even cozier. All summer, all fall, Owl and Moon have been watching Red Knit Cap Girl and her friends. 
Now it is almost winter. The days are shorter and the dark comes earlier. Owl and Moon talk in hushed voices about what Red Knit Cap Girl and her friends have done. We can help too, Moon says, and she tells Owl how. Owl and Moon work all night long. In the morning, Red Knit Cap Girl and her friends see what Owl has made for them. Red Knit Cap Girl reads the sign out loud. Library, she says. A library is a place where anyone can borrow a book. Red Knit Cap Girl winks at Sly Fox, who smiles shyly back. That night, Moon shines her light on the nook and the friends read. Sly Fox returns the book she took and Red Knit Cap Girl reads it aloud to everyone. Thank you, Red Knit Cap Girl, says the little ones who can't read yet. Thank you, dear, bird, bear, duck, squirrel, hedgehog, beaver, sheep, turtles, and turtle babies, sly fox, owl, white bunny, and moon. Thank you for making our library, says Red Knit Cap Girl. It's good to share books. The end. Well, my friends, I hope you guys really enjoyed that story. I thought it was a wonderful story to read together. It you know, talks about friends coming together, working together, and creating something that makes them all super happy and they can enjoy it all of the time. I mean, they create their own little library. How extraordinary is that? I know I really love our library. So before we say good night, we're going to sing one more song together and it goes to the tune of Row, Row, Row Your Boat. So let's sing Row, Row, Row Your Boat together just so we can become familiar with it. Ready? Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Okay, so the song we're gonna learn, it is called Bright Moon and it's Bright moon shining down, shining on the ground. What a lovely face you have, yellow, big, and round. One more time, friends, ready? Bright moon shining down, shining on the ground. What a lovely face you have, yellow, big, and round. Now we're gonna sing goodbye to one another, ready? Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to go to bed. Goodbye, my friends. I'll see you again next Wednesday at 7 o'clock. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.